still in the tree farm. We've done, oh, I'd say about seven miles of ten. About three more miles, get out of here. Or is it five? No, we got five more miles. Oh, here we go. Oh, I'm coming off. <sighs> oh, it's beautiful back here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, we gotta try that sometime. That's gotta be later in the year though, huh? It doesn't get dark till like 10 o'clock. Yeah, well, since they don't lock the, uh, there's no gates or anything here. Uh huh. That would come out in the middle of the night. Go anytime, yeah. But I used to do it in the pub because I worked. Yeah, that's what I. That's what I'm saying. I don't see 11 o'clock anymore. Yeah. <laughs> when it gets down. Yeah, me and Matt were talking, we'll be doing this in the fall. Fall, usually on the, in the summer, I'm doing my road bike. And in the fall, I find some trees. It's not bad in here because of the tree cover, but it's still hot. No, I haven't lately. <laughs> no, this has been enough. If I do, it's usually like I bought the McComb um, rail trail. Oh, yeah. Right up to Richmond. Yep. Back, and I think it's like 46 miles round trip. Holy shit. <laughs> now I'm going to have to put a car at one end. <laughs> now I usually kept it to about 20. My shins hurt too much after that. Well, not for my bike, for my running, but I, yeah, I usually keep it around 20 anyway. All right, this was all wet last time I was here. Oh, we got this. Look at that shit. That's what I'm talking about. Let's highlight real stuff right there. Jump everything. Got the tree. Didn't get my hand, but I got the tree. Yeah, he was right behind us. I don't see him yet, but he will be. There he is. There we go. Oops, there he is. Come on, straight through. Mile. mile. <laughs> 
There you go. Not anymore, right, man? Oh, did you cut it? Yeah. I was like, come right through there. Yeah, I think that was the last fight. There's the crater over there. Ah. Does your bike ever switch gears if you get on it real hard or no? By the no. No. This thing, this thing sometimes has a mind of its own. It's dialed in pretty good. It's dialed in as well as it's going to be anyway. Yeah, I keep mine so tuned. The only thing I get is dropping off when I'm on the small chain ring. Oh, okay. Yeah. Now, do you have a clutch or no? No. Oh, okay. Yeah, I took my chain, I put it on the highest gear, and then I shortened it as much as I could, just so it would have the most tension. It's worked out great, because I was dropping it all the time, and then I was ripping off my derailleur, but it hasn't done that. Yeah. For a bike that's only six years old, it's old technology. No, I know, right. Well, that's what, yeah, Matt wanted to change his clutch. And he's like, I found a, I found a derailleur. I'm like, does it have a clutch? He's like, yeah. I was like, how much is it? He's like, oh, 60 bucks. I'm like, yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> they're, they're up around 200. And if you get the whole, yeah. the whole group set, it's, it's like 400, 600. Well, that's what I told him. His, his bike was probably set up with some good gear. They, they weren't putting a $60 derailleur on there. Right. Yeah, no, I went to a nine by setup. I thought about 11 or 12, but uh, I have a hard enough time tuning in my nine. I don't even want to get any, any shorter than I already am. Then you're talking like eighth of turns to adjust things and- Yeah, you're gonna need a Yeah. At least I could be a little bit sloppy. Besides, I find nines enough gears anyway. Oh yeah, we're launching this one. Oh. 